Well, let's talk first about HB 56. As mm -hmm. you all know, HB 56 is the law that passed last year. Mm -hmm. And HB 56 was challenged. Three lawsuits were filed, mm -hmm. one by uh, three churches, one by the Department of Justice, and another one that we call the private lawsuit. That lawsuit went to uh, the district court here in, in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. uh, we also filed a preliminary injunction asking the court to stop the law until we could have more time to, to try the case, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, then we, that was appealed. That decision by the district judge was appealed to the 11th Circuit. Uh, mm -hmm. Back in March, we argued and some more sections of that law were uh, enjoined or stopped. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so just so our viewers can understand, uh, the first court, the trial court, uh, made certain rulings and those were appealed to a higher court, the 11th Circuit, correct? Correct. correct. And then it's my understanding that uh, there's also portions of maybe not this law right now but uh, Arizona's law that are going to be to the, uh, that are going to go before the United States Supreme Court. That's correct. So a lot of the sections of HB 56 were stopped and now we're waiting on the Supreme Court to hear the case in the Arizona law. Uh, that's going to happen next week, April 25th. And April 25th, the United States Supreme Court is going to hear argument. And later in the summer, second, third week in June, we expect a decision. That decision will have an impact on Alabama's HB 56. Okay. And it's the question whether or not these provisions are unconstitutional. Is that what it's all about? There are some equal protection challenges, uh, but there are also preemption challenges. Mm -hmm. Basically, preemption, what, what it means is that we're, we're saying that uh, the federal government has sole power or authority to rule on immigration.